hand pass is actually, as it says itself, is, is passing the ball using the hand, not the foot. And uh, there's two ways of doing that, or two legal ways of doing it anyway. And one is with a closed fist, where the, the, the striking hand must pass the holding hand. That's one of the definitions of making it legal, that the striking hand actually passes the holding hand. That's for a fist pass. For a fist pass, you can do it almost anywhere. It can be up there, down here, it can be any part of your fist. That's all legal. But for the hand pass with the open hand, there's only one legal version of that. It's called the underhand, open hand, hand pass. And that's exactly the way it works. Any other version of the hand pass is not legal. It used to be up here, used to be sideways you could do it, not anymore. This is the only one you can do is the underhand, open hand, hand pass. Same thing again, that the striking hand must pass the holding hand. That's the definition of making it perfectly legal. And when you do it at top speed, sometimes it doesn't always quite work out that way, but this is what we have to try and do. The striking is one thing, I suppose it's the height of the pass is the other very important thing. If the pass is too low or too high, then that will reduce the pace of the player who's going to receive it. So actually it's about getting it at the ideal height. So the, the strike to make it legal and then the ideal height so people can take it in their full stride. That's what we're endeavouring to do to get the, the, the quality hand pass. It's good to use both hands because if we strike just with the hand that we're most comfortable with, then sometimes we get into a place where that's not going to work first. So it's about actually practicing your own backyard and if you get good with one hand or if you have a strong dominant hand, then get used to using the other one and still keep the right technique uh, with what you're doing. So it's the closed fist pass. Yes, that one, you can do anything with your closed fist. With the open hand, remember, it's just the one only, the underhand, open hand is the only one that's legal. So again, it's up to you how good you become at this, by how often you practice it, and with your friends in the back garden. And this thing is something that uh, you as young people, you know, watching the, this video, you should be thinking of, what's the quality of your hand pass? You know, what height are these passes going at? If these players were on the move, would this pass uh, affect their, their natural run? And if it's too low, then it will. If it's too high, then it will. So you try and get that sort of between the chest and the tummy there. That's where you want the ball to be arriving. This is the hand pass in action here. The players are coming forward. They're moving forward. And you're passing to where the man is actually moving to. So it's not a static pass. It's getting a bit of movement into it. So you're putting the ball really in front of the man. And he should be able to take it in his normal stride.